All right. So hello, everybody. Uh, let me start with a quick introduction. So my name is BTFM, I'll, and I'll be running Mega Man Unlimited. Uh, if you haven't heard about this game, it's a fun game, Mega Man game, released in 2013 on PC. Uh, it's been created by a small developer uh, dev developer team, uh, and the main guy behind this game is called Mega Phil X. It's a ridiculously well-made game. It's it's extremely good, but at the same time, it's also extremely difficult. So. I don't plan to do much commentary for this game, but thankfully I have with me Shadax and Ajarmar uh, who will help, who will probably provide bulk of the commentary, so yeah, hopefully you will enjoy it. So let's get started. So to quickly go over the uh, basic uh, mechanics of this game, because no Mega Man game is quite like the other. Um, you do not have a charge shot in this game, but you do have a slide, as you'll see. Um, you also have quick weapon swapping, which means that you don't have to go into the menu to swap weapons. Um, and you also have a pretty regular rush coil and rush jet. They work pretty similarly to Mega Man 9 and 10, um, but with some differences that we'll get into later. Uh, another thing that's special about uh, this game is the slide, that you have a, sp you have a slide button. So you can just press the button instead of having to press down and down and jump. And you can also buffer slides, so you can actually just hold the button, uh, and as soon as you land on the ground, you will execute a slide. Yeah, and here we can see uh, BTFM in Tri Nitro stage. Uh, the reason why he's here is that the Tri Nitro fight is the fastest one to do with Buster only, and uh, after that he will be going to Nailman, where he will then be getting uh, Rush Jet, will be will be, which will be very helpful for the future stages. <laughs> Here I have to wait because of that mystery. As you can see, this game loves to throw enemies at you. Lots of enemies. So you can see I'm already on 2 HP. Okay, so BT now is coming up on the, the fight. It's a pretty interesting fight because he can either shoot his body or his head. And uh, if, he shoots, uh, if he shoots the head, it will deal 4 damage. However, he has to be careful not to shoot the head uh, more than twice. Otherwise, uh, Triatro will be doing uh, da uh, an attack that uh, one hit chaos basically uh, Mega Man. And, uh, BT wants to be careful to... Okay, nice. Nice fight. <laughs> very, very nice. So BT tried to finish the fight uh, by basically hitting the head for the third time. So he had to make sure that uh, Trinitro had uh, basically 4 HP. Very nice. I'm already shocked because this is still deathless. Like, honestly, in this game, I expect to die in at least once or twice. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, you can die in 10 different stages, and every stage you can die on, in 5 different ways, so... Going through the first stage deathless is just an achievement for me. Yeah, so we're going into Nailman hit now, and uh, there's a, a technique that you will be seeing in this stage, which, which you don't see much in other Mega Man games, and uh, you will see it later in the game as well, um, which is that you uh, take damage and then immediately land on Rush Coil, uh, and then you like bounce off while you're still in iframes, uh, and you can actually utilize your invisibility period uh, to uh, go through a bunch of enemies. We've been seeing that a few times in this stage. So this is a good time to talk about uh, ladders in this game. So you can actually grab ladders off screen and the next screen you can see, you will be able to see that in action. And this is actually helpful in this screen because he's able to dodge the nails there uh, by getting a bit of dis distance by grabbing the ladder off screen. So here you see damage boost on the coil right there. Okay. 
Okay, coming up is a mini boss, Hammerman, where BTFM is hammering his shoot button. That's very nice. That is how you fight the boss. I'm gonna grab this just to be safe. Very nice. So, yeah, Mega Man Unlimited is really just this kind of fun game that has lo a lot of long stages and uh, lots of enemies. It's a pretty brutal game, to be honest. And uh, yeah, BTF, BTF, I must be very careful, careful with uh, how many debuts he takes. And uh, yeah, most enemies hit like a truck, and yeah, something to be mindful of. Oh, the lucky Z. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> of this stage, Nailman, um, and uh, BTFM has exactly enough uh, nitro ammo to uh, kill this boss, so he does not want to miss any shots, because this is a very slow fight uh, if you fight him with Buster. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Thanks to this boss, uh, during this speedrun we probably one of the worst tests that I could, uh, I could take for how slow the Buster fight is. It would take Maybe like 1 minute and 30 seconds just to kill him. So no, it's kind of ridiculous. But yeah, thankfully, uh, it was fine. <laughs> so BT will now go to Tankman stage, who is a distant cousin of <laughs> Hank the Tank. <laughs> as we all know. Yeah, and uh, from Nailman, he just got the Nail Shield and the Rush Jet. And you will see right away in this first screen uh, just how useful both of those are. Uh, the nail shield is very good at protecting you from enemies a bit soon. Um, and then at the end of the screen you will see a coil jet, so you jump onto coil and then onto jet. And then something very specific about this game, which is that you can actually take damage and then cancel jet, you saw it right there. And he immediately exits the damage animation and can start moving. So it's a very cool bit of tech that's exclusive to this game. Yeah, and another nice thing about this stage is uh... You will see now conveyor belts that are uh, on the ceiling, and when uh, BT touches them with uh, Mega Man's head, it uh, sends uh, sends Mega Man forward with a lot of lots of speed. And this mini boss here, you don't need to fight these Joes there; you can simply jump over them, and that's it. Very cool. You will also see her coming up. Uh... Just how useful uh, Tri Nitroman's weapon is to deal with enemies, just just delete them immediately. This uh, upcoming room uh, is pretty interesting. You see BT just jumping around to get a lot of speed from the conveyor belts. shocked. <laughs> You're doing well. <laughs> Proud of you. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> yeah, as perhaps you can see that this game doesn't have much down downtime. Uh, it's pretty in intense. I don't even have time to talk. Uh, especially since I'm pretty terrible at talking and playing at the same time. So. Okay, so in Combat Woman stage, um, the two main gimmicks we see are uh, low gravity, and uh, in just a few screens we will see uh, ice platforms. Yeah, and in this level you will also you will also really see just how useful Jet is, um, and oftentimes you don't even ride it for very long. Uh, you just summon it to have like a, a free platform to stand on, uh, but it's very useful and. Uh, 
something else you're seeing here on this stage is that uh, BT tries to uh, go back to Buster uh, after killing enemies. And that's because um, he doesn't want to. If if, a de if an enemy drops weapon energy, then he doesn't want to pick that up with an ep with a weapon equipped because then it takes a while for it to fill up. Um, so he tries to avoid that. Nice jump. Very tricky jump. And so, uh, something that's kind of interesting about the version that VT is playing on, he's playing on a specific speedrun version of the game that was released by the developer. Um, and it actually has like some of the like early crashes and stuff fixed, um, but it has some other glitches that were fixed in later versions uh, not fixed. So glitches that are useful for speedruns, so it's like a very uh, tailor-made speedrun version by the developer, it's very nice. Uh, and here is Comet Woman, uh, her weakness is Tankman's weapon, and what you try to do is stand at the point blank range and uh, hit her, because the uh, Tankman's weapon has three projectiles, and so you want to try to hit her with all three projectiles at once uh, to deal it the most damage. Yeah. And here you can see Mega Man trying to get to the middle of the room, but it's very slow as, yeah. as a result of the ice platform. I think it's Jet Stage, so here I have to give a shout out to my my friend Hope, who is a big fan of this song. Oh so yeah, shout outs to Hope. Yeah, so going into Jetman, you see on the first screen uh, an enemy named Mr. Shiniri. Uh, he's a very busy man with two suitcases. Uh, he appears a few times. Uh, fan favorite. <laughs> And uh, in this stage you will also see just how useful Nail Shield is at protecting you. Uh, in the screen coming up, uh, you can see it. Uh, yeah, it just it deals with, ev with everything for you. There's a little mini boss. You deal with it. It's just a micro blast and a comet dash. Then a bit of. Uh, vertical section here where you utilize uh, jet and coil a lot to uh, traverse these rooms quickly. Yeah, and coming up on this final screen you will see a lot of the weapons used together and we, we can see just how powerful the nail shield is. Yeah, and here's something interesting about jet. You see him jumping a bit on jet. And he actually moves forward uh, because you actually move faster on foot than on jet in this game, which is kind of kind of special. It's not that's usually not the case in Mega Man games. And it's now, for, uh, now it's time for the Jetman fight, and this is my favorite fight in this game. His weakness is Common Dash, but we'll actually utilize a few different weapons in order to kill him fast. He can do a few different things in a in a different order as well, so I'll try to adjust depending on the pattern. Okay. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, that was very cool. Nice. Again, speaking of the OST of this game, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, for example, Mega Man 9 and Mega Man 10 are pretty known for have amazing OSTs. For me, OST in this game is just on the same level, and the next song is my favorite song in this game, the Yo Yo Man song. I have to agree on that. And uh, speaking of Yo Yo Man stage, um, a very interesting kind of platform we will see in the stage uh, are these blue platforms that are not moving uh, at first, but whenever BT touches them, he will, uh, they will start uh, going down. But as soon as he gets out of them, uh, they will start moving up. And it will make for some interesting uh, movements later on. Yeah, this is just a stage with a lot of, a lot of cool tech. Uh, it uh, has a lot of weapon variety. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a stage that mostly speaks for itself. So we can hand it over to Bowie for a bit if you want to say something. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it's my job. I always <laughs> love, love to say things. First off, loving this run myself. Uh, I remember playing this game and getting bodied by it. So <laughs> to see it get it absolutely destroyed like this is very uh, cathartic for me, I feel. <laughs> so thank you, BT. Um, no, so, uh, obviously, we've been uh, having a great week. Uh, we're up to $20,125 $20, uh, donated in total, which is an awesome, awesome amount. Um, I want to just um, remind everyone about an upcoming incentive. Um, at the end of my uh, session here um, on the... Um, mic, uh, there will be a run coming up which is uh, Argix Sonic Mania crowd control run and there is an incentive to make him wear a disgustingly cursed outfit and um, you can help that happen. We are I think 197 dollars off of that so let's make Argic wear a hideous outfit so uh, we can all make that happen during this run particularly that'd be awesome um, as uh, BT destroys that boss. Well done. <laughs> Very <laughs> nice. Do. Yeah, the interesting thing about that boss is that BT was using uh, Jetman's uh, sub-weapon where he was holding down the shoot button to uh, target an enemy that's close to Mega Man and then when, upon releasing the button, uh, the uh, missile will basically home onto, onto, the, onto the enemy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, coming up is uh, Glue Man stage. Uh, a special kind of platform we will see are uh, glue platforms, where uh, whenever Mega Man lands on them, he will be stuck and BT will be forced to jump, basically. So no sliding. Yeah, and there's another interesting mechanic in this stage, which is these glue conveyor belts that are in the ceiling. Uh, you will see them coming up, coming up soon. Um, and uh, you can actually do a zip on those conveyor belts uh, by using Jet to put yourself in a very specific position. You'll see it right here. Very fast. Um, uh, so those conveyor belts are normally much slower, uh, and you'll see another one right here. Um, and uh, so we're <laughs> uh, we're coming up here on Platy Presser, the mini boss, uh, another fan favorite. Uh, and then after that, there's actually a shortcut here, um, which requires Tankman's weapon. Uh, and then right here, he will try to do another. Uh, zip right there. Oh, very nice. <laughs> very, very nice. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and now we're almost at the end of the stage already. So, there's a very interesting thing uh, about... Check out how slow this conveyor belt is normally. This is how yeah. it should look like. And, yeah, you saw yourself. Yeah. It's uh, very, very fast uh, zips here. Um, and the interesting thing about the zips in this game is that they're actually dependent on the frame rate of the game. Uh, and the frame rate of the game is dependent on how powerful your computer is. Uh, so this is actually like the fastest zips that I've ever seen. In this Same. Game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because of how powerful this computer is, uh, is uh, at ESA I'm saving, I don't know, maybe in total over 10 seconds on zip speed compared to my laptop. <laughs> so yeah, but this is not a record pace. But it's still pretty cool. Uh, and then after that, uh, we're going into Rainbow Man stage. Um, if you're familiar with Quick Man from Mega Man 2, uh, you might uh, might recognize something here because this game uh, or this stage also has some lasers that will kill you instantly. Um, and uh, normally, yeah, you was right there. That was weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, I died there. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so normally in a casual playthrough, there's like. Um, uh, like various things you can shoot to like redirect the beams um, in order to not die um, and that triangle right there uh, that also instantly kills you uh, but in a speedrun you go through most of these rooms quickly enough to just dodge the lasers and uh, yeah you don't you don't die and uh, here's a mini boss it spawns in a random position Ooh. So coming up very soon is uh, zips. Uh, BT will be able to execute a zip by positioning a glue onto the wall and then sliding under it and then unposing and then upon unposing uh, Mega Man will be sent to the right side of the wall. Uh, the same zip works by uh, standing on top of the glue block and then doing a slide. As long as you're in a sliding state the zip will be, uh, will be working. Uh, however, you can only be sent to the right, not on the left. Oh. 
and the the glue zips, just like the conveyor zips in the previous stage, they are also their speed is also dependent on uh, the frame rate. Okay, that was a good one. 19. Nice. Low 19, I'll take it. So that's all 8 robots down. Very cool. So now the hard stages are done, it's time for even harder stages. Yeah. Yeah, so um, we're going into the wireless stages, and uh, if you're familiar with uh, wireless stages from other Mega Man games, uh, you do not get your ammo refill between the stages here. Uh, so you actually have to be a bit mindful of your weapon energy uh, and BT will also be picking up some W tanks uh, which you will be using later uh, which refill all of your energy so yeah some some energy some weapon energy management going on here again amazing song Big fan. And you see another little glue zip coming up here. So, an interesting thing coming up here is you will see BT just doing a coil and then, well, you will see it again. Doing, using coil and then pausing to, go, to get glue to get uh, to this ladder. Um, Despite having uh, quick weapon swaps, uh, there are these a few situations where uh, BT will not have enough time to quick swap to a certain weapon, so he will sometimes have to pause the game to get to the desired weapon in question. Uh, and here we have a jet section coming up uh, where yeah, you have the right jet to get past here, and uh, there are these weapon energy pickups, oh, right. Uh, double right there. and. Uh, yeah, you have to pick up the weapon energy here because otherwise you will run out of jet and uh, fall to your death. So you want to try to avoid that. Just to be safe. And then we have uh, a bit of a vertical section here, uh, some tricky jumps with jet here. I'll go for this once. Okay. Nice. Very cool. Uh, so, coming up here we have a section where you're supposed to go up on the right and then go all the way down and then actually climb up this ladder that you see to the left. Um, but we can do a little a little trick at the end uh, to not have to go down. Maybe quick information if you wonder why, do, why don't I zip to the left? Uh, because you cannot. In this game you can only zip to the right like in every Mega Man game. Uh, and the little trick in question is uh, right here, you will see BT using glue to uh, create a platform and get over the spikes. Uh, for some reason, uh, the spikes aren't loaded in the next screen, so he's able to just jump over the spikes. And uh, uh, the funny thing is that in the latest, latest version of the game, uh, that has been fixed, but as Aja explained earlier, for this uh, speedrun version, uh, it was left out just for uh, faster. Gameplay basically. Yeah, and uh, we're coming up on the boss here uh, of the well one, Elecrab. Uh, it's a pretty interesting fight, so you should pay attention here. Okay, we did it. Nice. Crab's <laughs> weak. Mm. So basically, we are killing cra Crab before he spawns. He's at zero, 0 HP. I hit him using a Nitro Blast, and that kills him. Which is funny, I can go to the right right now and spawn this boss again, I would have to fight him again. But yeah, it still counts. Uh, I cannot move after this quick kill, so I have to die, I have to have an ex extra uh, life to go for that quick kill. But yeah, this is how it works, and that fight is not easy, <laughs> so I'm pretty happy that I got it. It's not difficult, uh, but yeah, <laughs> still. Maybe it's a good time for donations in this stage. Of course, yes. Uh, we have a few that have come through. So we have a $15 donation from Zelda, Zelda Addicted. Um, Zelda Addicted. Um, I hope the venue has AC, Argic. That 15 going towards him wearing a truly horrible outfit. Um, we have $25 from Bobby the Blacktastic that says, Go PT! Classic Mega Man is always a great time. And even better that, that this fan game amps it up to 100 putting this towards Argic's cursed costume. <laughs> and uh, then a $75 donation from Nils that just says, Sonic costume, please! 
Well, we're going to make that happen very, very shortly. It's very close. Looking at the... Uh, I'm going to update that quickly. We are 1,918 1, out of 2,000, so $82 away. We're so close. Let's make Arg look hideous for a moment. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Thank you, guys. Yeah, so this stage uh, has some underwater sections and some uh, not underwater sections. So you're kind of going back and forth. And there's also a lot of blue zips in the stage, uh, as you might have seen already, and there are some more coming up. Yeah, there I had to activate common dash in air in order to not fall down. So you have to be really quick with your swaps. Oh, nice. I'll take any one up that I get in this game. <laughs> It will make next. This is what I shouldn't talk and play. <laughs> it's just too difficult for me. Yeah. So in that section, the glue zip actually skips a little, a little, a little puzzle that you're supposed to do. So pretty good time save. And uh, now we're coming up on uh, the boss shortly, uh, which is like an octopus. Okay, I brain farted this part. <laughs> Not gonna lie. So yeah, the boss. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the boss in this stage is like an octopus, and uh, uh, it has two tentacles, uh, which are like the points that you attack. Um, and uh, it looks like they share a health bar, but they actually have separate health. Uh, so they each have 14 health, so you want to like alternate your shots between the two tentacles. Um, uh, but the thing is that they actually share iframes, so you have to... Yeah, you still have to wait in between your shots. Um, you will see that when he gets back to it, and it's actually kind of uh, like in, in a Mega Man game like this, uh, when you when you have an unexpected death, it can be uh, a bit weird because you might not have like, uh, especially in the wildest stages, you might have to like think a bit more about your energy management um, because you might not have like the weapons that you expect to have, um, because you have to like redo part oh, of the right. stage. Whatever. So, but he made it back. Here is the boss. The worst boss in this game. Okay, that was an extremely good fight. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with that. This boss can either go, uh, either go extremely good or absolutely terrible. There is nothing in between. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm just happy with that. <laughs> yeah, so now BT will be entering uh, Wily 3, which uh, might remind you of uh, another, another Mega Man game, uh, especially Mega Man 5 with a Gravity Man stage, uh, and uh, also VVVVVV, -V 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 -V, <laughs> another nice Mega Man game. <laughs> My favorite. <yeah. laughs> Also a very good song. Whilst, so, you're, whilst you're running we're running for, through this, can I just announce something quick? Real, 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 yeah. real quick. Sure, sure go ahead. Uh, we, I, I think I want, I want to hear the audience make some noise here because we just had an, an anonymous $1,000 oh. donation. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for that. Um, so, yeah, we just hit 21k from that one donation alone. That did meet Sonic Mania's crowd control Argic cursed Sonic costume. So, thank you for that. And uh, the other, uh, a big chunk of that also going to Chippendale Rescue Rangers, changing the category to All Zone. So, thank you for a truly wondrous donation. That is incredible. Uh, awesome stuff. Cheers, cheers. Yeah, thank you so much for the donation, guys. Um, yeah, so this stage features. <laughs> Many, many things, <laughs> including scary things and many enemies, spikes, uh, spike falls, um, uh, but also a lot of zips, which you, we will be seeing especially very soon. Yeah, and like we talked about earlier, this game has very long stages. Uh, yeah. so. I actually want to check my ammo count. I'm so not used to this ammo count because of that death that I need to. Yeah. So I have to adjust my strats mm -hmm. because of that. 
Yeah, E.T. was supposed to use a W tank in this stage, however, because of the unfortunate death from the previous stage, he had to adjust by using the W tank earlier, so he has to be very mindful of his ammo here. But yeah, this final screen is just insane. Oh sh... I'm actually gonna grab that now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, very nice uh, that's a good call. No. <laughs> Alright. Nice. So Just we're, survive. Yeah. We're coming up here on the boss. Um, we actually don't have this boss's weakness. Um, so the best thing to use here is Tankman's weapon because it has the three shots. Uh, so if you hit uh, him at point blank range, you actually deal three damage uh, with all shots. Uh, and then he puts up his shield and you can actually use Rainbow Man's weapon to hit through his shield. That was a good fight. That was good. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Um, especially this fight is quite tricky because you could see that I was swapping between tank weapon and rainbow weapon, and the distance between those two weapons when I'm swapping, uh, it's it's four swaps, I think. So I'm basically swapping the mash button, but I cannot over swap uh, because it ruins the whole strat. So yeah, I'm proud of myself, I have to admit. <laughs> I'm also proud of you. <laughs> oh, cheers, man. So yeah, upcoming is Wily 4. Uh, the refight stage. And uh, this stage is not like any kind of uh, refight stage like in your typical Mega Man game. Um, each capsule will also feature a small, uh, a short uh, platforming section. And despite being short, it is very difficult, <laughs> so yeah. it does not really help. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this, the, the, the reason why. Uh, like, just look at this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, the fact that we have these uh, short platforming sections uh, add up to a lot of time for this stage, and it's, it's close to like six minutes in total. Oh. That was a good fight. Nice. Yeah, you can see here that like the the little platforming sections are uh, reminiscent of the of the Robot Master's original stage. So the, this upcoming capsule here is a very interesting one. I, I want you guys to pay attention to the boss fight in particular. So it's coming up. Don't blink. <laughs> so what happened here was that uh, Mega Man was entering a, a boss door that was on the ground and it works the same with a door that's on the ceiling right here. He will do it again and very nice. So uh, what happens exactly is that whenever you enter a door that's either on the ground or the ceiling, uh, you can still control Mega Man for a brief moment and what BT does is shoot a yo-yo uh, and it the yo-yo reaches the boss before uh, his health bar fills up, so he was he's basically able to one-hit the boss as a result. Very nice. I think we would have time to hand it over to Bowie for a little bit now. Ooh. Yeah, of course. I have a couple of things I can read here. We have a $100 donation from Metro Bandit with no comments. That's... Uh, Putting that towards um, the Dark Sassy Any% percent bonus game, Plushy from the Sky. So thank you very, very, very much for that. And then a $5 donation from Mod366, who I think I see in the audience there. Hello, hello mate. Uh, what do you mean cursed and hideous? I'll have you know, that costume is awesome and hilarious. But even if you mislabeled it, I do still want to see it. Well, you're getting your wish, Mod, so thank you very much. And um, that, that was Mets. So I believe that that eventually went on over to the next available... Um, uh, Incentive, uh, which is Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. So thank you for your lovely donations, everyone. Now it's time for Nitro uh, again, but this time we have his weakness making this fight quite trivial. Uh, you can see how easy it is. He's just getting old for the second time. <laughs> yeah, and... Uh... There's an interesting thing about this stage, uh, if you if you paid attention, uh, even though there were only eight Robot Master stages, there are nine teleporters in the main room. Um, 
So there's actually a mysterious boss at the end, um, and in the 100% category of this game, you'll actually you would actually see that boss's stage. Uh, his name is Yoku Man. Uh, you'll see here his platforming segment, which is quite special. Uh, and uh, yeah, and so we're coming up, up on the boss here. Uh, basically, to unlock his stage, you have to like collect these letters in the Robot Master stages, which you don't do that in in this run. But you still have to fight him here, so pretty pretty challenging. No, oh, oops. At least he did. No, no, he's. That's such a cool concept, Yokoman. Actually, shoutouts to Daniel Wilkinshaw. Uh, he's the guy uh, responsible for creating Yokoman, and he's been in my chat a few times uh, when I was speedrunning this game on Twitch. That TV. Yeah, so we're coming up here on the uh, the last bosses of this stage. Uh, so here's base first. Did I grab E-Tank or did I forget about it? You took it. Okay, it, yeah. <laughs> I already forgot. <laughs> uh, and then here is Wily himself. Uh, his hitbox is very small compared to the size of his sprites. Uh, you have to hit him up in his little window up there. Um, so yeah, but you can you can reach him with some with some yo-yos here. Okay, that's good. This fight is actually pretty difficult and I'm happy that I got him pretty quick uh, because he has some extra attacks that you have to dodge that I don't even know how to dodge since like, seven years or something. Yeah, and here is Wily Walker. This boss, this boss is very special because you can only hit it while it's jumping, it opens up. Uh, and so BT is trying to do some jumps to time it so that he shoots some yo-yos right as it opens and then you can get two hits per jump. Let's see here. Nice. That was perfect fine. Yeah. <laughs> Three doubles. Uh, okay, so very quickly, it's time for the last uh, last stage of this game. So I have a I have a challenge. If you're watching this run, uh, try to count all the doors in this stage. Uh, it's not easy, so definitely pay attention. Uh, but yeah, uh, since this is the last stage, it's honestly more like an epilogue in this game. Uh, there are some things that I'd like to talk about anyway, uh, or rather already. Uh, so first of all, I'd like to give a few shoutouts. Uh, actually, I'm looking at the time and it's pretty good. It's much better than I expected, so I guess we can leave the shoutouts uh, after I beat this stage. <laughs> I was honestly expecting being very close to the estimate. Uh, so yeah, now we can enjoy the stage. Hopefully you are still counting all the doors, this is not over. And this is an interesting boss concept because this is a fight that I cannot win. Uh, I basically have to have to lose as fast as possible. I can even shoot this guy and he will uh, reflect all my shots, I will show you. And also I'm shooting. Yeah, it does nothing. You just have to take damage as, as fast as possible. So I'm trying to manipulate his pattern by jumping on a specific frames. Uh, it's still quite random. It can be super slow, it can be super fast. That was actually pretty good, so... And that was good RNG. Uh, and if you're curious, you can actually play as this guy. Uh, his name is Prototype Z or Z Prototype? Prototype. Z Prototype, yeah. And he plays like Zero. Uh, and but in order to play him, you have to download the newest version of this game. Uh, that you can download for free from Megafill's uh, website. Uh, so yeah. And now it's the final escape sequence. Every game needs an escape sequence. Hopefully you are still counting the doors. This is not over. Still not over. There are a few doors left. This will be the final door of this stage. And now the time will be in a few seconds. Stay on the ground. Okay. You can actually spread it. The time is coming up. Okay, this will be a 38. I'm. 
Nice, thanks. <laughs> GG. Nice. Thank you. I'm I'm super happy about this run. There was uh, I only died in Wiley. No, sorry, in Rainbow and in Wiley too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, but still, 38 is a very solid time to get in this game. Uh, if you are curious, uh, my PB and world record is 36.26. Uh, I consider it a pretty solid time. I don't run this game anymore because of how happy I am with my run. Uh, but yeah, there are some shoutouts that I like to give. Uh, this game, unfortunately, doesn't have many runners. Uh, in my opinion, this speedrun is just absolutely amazing. Uh, and even though it doesn't have many runners, the runners that do actually run this game, they are very dedicated to it. So first of all, I want to give a shout out to Zex. Uh, he was the guy who got the first 36 time in this game, uh, a really cool time to get. And his run has been my biggest inspiration when I picked up this game for the first time. Uh, apart from that, I definitely want to give a shout out to Slurpy. Uh, Slurpy has been running this game since probably the release date, honestly. And he's mostly running the 100% category that Aja mentioned, uh, where you collect all the Yoku letters and you fight Yoku Man. Uh, so it's a slightly longer category. And it's also an interesting category compared to this one because the route is also completely different. Because you want to optimize the route by minimizing the amount of revisits that you do to, in order to collect, collect those letters. So you don't start with Nitro first, but rather I think it's Comet first. Uh, then I also want to give a shout out to Pumba. Uh, he got, he was the first uh, person to get a 36 4x in this game, and he contributed a lot to this game. He came up with a bunch of different strats, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, so definitely a big shout out to those four guys. Uh, uh, I would like to also sell this the speedrun of this game. Uh, I don't have many opportunities to talk about this uh, speedrun specifically, so. Why you should speedrun this game, in my opinion? First of all, it's extremely easy to pick up uh, from the technical point of view. You don't have to buy any external soft, uh, like capture cards or anything like this. You can download this game from the official Megafills website for free. You don't have to pay anything for it. Uh, if you'd like to speedrun the same category as me, then you have to play on the speedrun version. Uh, but you can also download it, download it for free, so it's not an issue. You can play on a keyboard. Uh, you can also use a controller if you are curious. The Controller of my choice is the Logitech F310. I even have my second Logitech F310 with me just in case. So I definitely recommend using Logitech F310 for this speedrun if someone would like to pick it up. Uh, yeah, it's a really cool speedrun in my opinion. So it would be nice if someone could pick this game up and get some, you know, even something like 38, 39. It's already a very good time to get. Uh, yeah, do you want to mention something something else? No, I'm good. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, definitely. Uh, I see that we have uh, a donation, so maybe let's... Uh, Bowie, are you alive? <laughs> I mean, just about, yeah, still uh, going. That, 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 the, that run, run. Yeah. the run knocked me for six. It was super good. <laughs> uh, as I was saying earlier, I got bodied by this game when I first played it, so it was really good to see it get, get hammered. So great, great run there. Good job. Um, we have, yeah, th we did have, just have a $50 donation from Polytopes. No no oh, comment, but uh, it goes towards six golden coins, glitchless bonus category of any percent. So thank you very much for that. Um, again, a brilliant run there, BTFM, congratulations. Um, and yeah, uh, we're going to take a quick break and we're, I think up next um, is, yeah, yeah, we're just going to be taking a quick break and up next is going to be, uh, gosh, Metroid uh, by, uh, which one is it called? Uh, I've, I keep getting different versions of this. Um, Spooky Mission, there we go, Spooky Mission. By Zonaris. Um, yeah, so we're just going to take a break. As another thing, the, the stream's been up for a long time. So we're just going to drop the stream for a little bit. It will come back. I'm expecting picnic baskets on fire in, in the chat. But if you can hold on to your picnic baskets, we will, we will, we will, be, we will be back momentarily. Oh. Don't go anywhere and come on back for a little bit of Metroid action. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> 